हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑन द सीएसआर नेट मैथमेटिक्स सॉल्यूशन टुडे इन दिस लेक्चर आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ यू कैन सॉल्व द लीनियर प्रोग्रामिंग प्रॉब्लम प्रॉब्लम्स दैट वाज आस्क इन द दिस एग्जामिनेशंस नाउ दिस इज रिलेटेड टू द पार्ट सी सो यू कैन गेट अ 4.75 मार्क्स फ्रॉम दिस क्वेश्चन माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर हरीश कर यू कैन फॉलो माय YouTube चैनल वेयर यू कैन फाइंड द प्लेलिस्ट ऑफ सीएसआर यूजीसी नेट एंड यू कैन सी दैट आई हैव अपलोडेड the lecture related to the differential equations linear algebra real analysis complex analysis all with the help of the again shortcut tricks apart from them you can also see the other lectures related to this csr net and the gate mathematics all with the help of the shortcut tricks you must watch my these lectures to get more confident how you can attempt the question in the examination now this question is id number 704120 and it is related to the part c so you will get a 4.75 marks in the examinations can you solve this question in a 5 second yes you heard the same thing 5 second first of all first of all i will tell you how what will be your approach when such kind of the question will be asked in the, in the near future and if you look about this question in your examination most of the students remember most of the student will think about the graphical method but it's a three variable you can't apply the uh, graphical method then the student may think about you can solve this problem with a simplex or you can write the dual and then apply the dual simplex and believe me that will take at least 7 minutes to get the solution either by using the simplex method dual simplex and so on but remember you have a maximum 1 minute time periods in the examination paper to get the right answer fine so then the question arises is how you can attempt the question first of all that's why i'm asking you if you watch my all this lecture you will get a confident how you can attempt the question whether the answer is correct or not that's a separate thing but your confidence level will be increased after watching this lectures if you look about the options they are talking about the optimal solutions optimal solution feasible solution and the optimal solution it's fine first of all we can see whether it's a feasible or not check whether these are satisfied all constants half zero minus half so minus half less than one satisfied 3 by 2 less than 2 satisfied satisfied all are satisfied 0 to 1 satisfied 0 satisfied 0 2 all are satisfied now how you can solve this question in a 5 second before i uh, if you remember that if you already watch my this lecture which is a fully shortcut tricks then you can solve this question in the 5 second time period what i told you in this lecture is how you can attempt that you your target is x1 plus x2 plus x3 can you make x1 plus x2 plus x3 from these constants yes you can you can see that if i use this equation number 1 if i use equation number 2 if i multiply this equation number 1 by 1 and this by 2 and if you add them what will happen x1 plus x2 plus x3 which is less than equal to 3 fine now check whether this can this constant is satisfied if x1 plus x2 is less than 2 then x2 will be less than of the 1 so yes it satisfied this property if x1 lies between 0 and half then definitely you can get the x2 plus x3 fine which is my 2.5 which also satisfied this property fine and similarly for the third case so what is the right answer now since you make this problem and your target is to maximize what is the maximum answer of this maximum is my 3 so therefore if i call this is my z fine so the optimal value is my 3 1.5 is the wrong answer fine second is the optimal solution when it will be the optimal solution when it give you the answer is 3 but if you add them x1 plus x2 plus x3 it give you 3 by 2 but not equal to 3 so that means this option is cancel if you look about this option is now they are not talking about the optimal they are talking about the feasible solution yes this is the feasible solution moreover if you add them this is my 3 so basically this is my optimal solution as well so yes this option is also correct option fine now that's the right answer of this problem but if somebody will think about that sir can i use these last three constants if i use last three constants like of this and 
if you add them what is the answer of this zero is less than equal to x1 plus x2 plus x3 what is the answer of this is it a 3 by 2 no because this number is less than less than of infinity so if you add them it is infinity fine so that means 3 by 2 is not maximum answer so again this option will be cancelled out so that's why i'm asking you you must you must watch my this lecture to get more practice on this shortcut quiz those who have already watched them they know that how you can solve the problems but i am 100% sure that once you watch this lecture you are more confident for solving the linear programming problem and you can get your answer in a 10 to 15 second time period don't forget to like share and comment on these videos and must watch my these playlist and their related videos in this program i hope you can don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel and thanks for the support always happy learning best of luck students